Christmas. Man is united in brotherly love. The air smells of roasted chestnuts, while strings of lights gleam across the sky. We flock to stores to find that perfect gift. Yes, it's a magical time of year. And it's all coming to an end. There are many problems facing Christmas today. Uh, rampant consumerism, the Xmas movement, uh, reindeer HIV, which is devastating flocks all over the world. Uh, but none of those problems pose uh, a threat significant enough to end the entire holiday. Uh, yet here we find ourselves in 2008 uh, faced with just that. There is a problem so widespread and damaging it could destroy the holiday we all love. Um, and the insane thing about this is that the problem is already known. It's on TV and the radio. We hear about it almost every day. Um, of course, I am talking about global warming. When the UN released its reports on climate change, it talked about rising sea levels and how cities around the world are going to start to flood. New York, Los Angeles, what it failed to mention was the first city that's going to be affected by this, a city that's already being affected by this, Santa's Village, Christmas Town. Scientists are saying that by 2012, the entire polar ice cap will melt. But what they're not telling you is by that same time, Santa and his elves will be out in the North Atlantic somewhere bobbing on an iceberg. And the reason why uh, nobody's talking about global warming and how it impacts Christmas is quite simple, really. Uh, nobody believes in Santa Claus anymore. I mean, could you really picture someone walking in front of the UN uh, and asking for help for Santa and his flying magical reindeer? It's preposterous. You, know, you look like an idiot. So tell me, why don't people believe in Santa? Uh, well, it's a very good question. Why don't you go ask some people? I thought that was a good suggestion. So I did. Do you believe in the real Santa Claus, as in someone up north, you know, at the North Pole, a big, fat, jolly guy? I would say no. <laughs> I think that, um... The idea of someone actually going around and giving people gifts is a little, I mean, it seems far-fetched, but so does, you know, finding cancer treatment and going to the moon. Not really. No, I, and I'm talking about the Santa Claus, the guy that lives up in the North Pole, the big, jolly, happy guy. No, sorry. <laughs> well, do you believe in a real Santa Claus that lives up in the North Pole? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell you. It's hard to tell me? Do you believe in, like, in a real guy up there that, you know, kind of wear a big, rolly, happy guy that sits up there with his reindeer and elves? Yeah, possible. That's cute. No. <laughs> oh, come on. That's do it. Do you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, do you believe in a real Santa Claus that lives up in the North Pole? That's for the kids. The kids are going to hear you saying that. No, there's no kids that are going to hear this. So we just want to know, do you really believe that there's a guy that can fly around the world and... No. With the disbelieving public, I felt it was my duty to head to the North Pole to see the devastating effects firsthand. I have been ranching this land all of my life. Now, maybe I move on to something else. Maybe I go skeet shootings for Olympics teams. This! This, all this land used to be candy cane, but now is nothing. Big, thick, grow, maybe 20, 25 feet. Yeah, but now, no grow. I was talking with Santa, yeah, and we will be taking out the candy cane for next year. Put in corn, is more money in that. Grow the, the ethanol, yeah, is hard to believe, more money. Right now is lucky. In Norway is genetically modified candy cane, or else for this, children maybe not have candy cane. Maybe eat corn instead. Have corn in stocking. My schmengeli love, but not too many kids love, I don't think. Seeing the devastated candy cane forest was bad, but nothing could prepare me for my next stop. I told Santa the other day, and he didn't take it well, you know. 
polar bears this time of year, you know, they, they're hungry and because their ice is melting and, you know, they, their hunting grounds have, are being depleted. The walruses, they can't find them to eat and, you know, desperate animals will do desperate things. So, <sighs> Rudolph, he was out playing reindeer games with his friends, you know, with Dasher and, and they were playing hide and seek and the polar bear found him first. <laughs> They buried Rudolph on a Wednesday. It rained during the burial. Rain in December, tears from the heaven, are yet another troubling sign of global warming. Leaving Rudolph's grave, I thought I should visit Santa myself. I thought it would be decorated more vibrantly with candy canes and lights and all. But like much on this trip, it's yet another surprise. I know you're busy this time of the year, Mr. Claus, so thanks for giving me a bit of your time. What are you doing to combat climate change? <laughs> Thank you for those kind words, Ken. As for global warming, when someone was naughty, we used to give them a lump of coal. But now we know that coal is responsible for that magical gas carbon dioxide, so we don't do that anymore. Now when someone's naughty, we give them a Spice Girls CD. Oh, that's Sporty Spice. She's so ugly. What do you want to tell the world? That I'm real. That I'm alive. That if we don't do something soon, all of Christmas will be over. The candy cane forest, it's already gone, and the reindeer are in danger. My friend Jack, Jack Frost, he's been out of work and hit the bottle pretty hard. And Frosty, oh... Frosty we had to send off to a cold storage facility in Wyoming. Do you know how hard it is to ship your best friend off in a box? Oh, Christmas, mark my words, is facing eradication. If the North Pole continues to melt, in less than five years Christmas will cease to exist. We must shake ourselves free from our apathetic slumber and make decisive changes in our lives. Stop driving your car. Switch from pork to polar bear meat. And most importantly, believe. Believe in Christmas. Believe in Santa. Believe in change. If we fail in this endeavor, like Frosty, we could all find ourselves packed up in a box and shipped to a world where Christmas has come to an end.